What do everybody? Y'all know who it is. Lawsuit Jerry, 32 Games. Uh, good morning to everybody that's out there, man. Uh, man, it's been a cold morning. I'm outside warming up the car because it's cold for one. And, uh, man, turned out to be a beautiful week for me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, everything is all right. I'm okay. Feel good, you know. And hoping that I can get out the house sometime later on today. Right now, I am inside the house cooking a good full course meal. And I started cooking last night. So, I didn't get, get it done all the way. You know what I'm saying? So, I did what I had to do. But now, I am cooking me a roast. A roast with the gravy. Also, you know what I'm saying? With the onion cut up in it. The green peppers. You know what I'm saying? So, that's going to turn out real good. You know, because I ain't had a roast in a long time. You know? I ain't been cooked now since uh, last year sometime. But this year it's time for me to go ahead and do my thing with that roast. Uh, cooking uh, some uh, sweet potatoes. You know, I got that on the stove right now. And I got me some, uh, man, some turnip greens, you know, and some minced vegetables with it. So it's going to turn out even better. So that's what I feel like eating today. So just like I told the wife, we're eating in today. We're not eating out. So we're going to eat in today. So <clears throat> got the good meal still cooking in there. You know, the roast is still cooking real good inside the oven. You know, with the lumen fork covered up on top of them. You know what I'm saying? And, and let that bad boy get tender. And, and the juice can handle itself by itself. You know what I'm saying? So the juice is the main thing, man. It's having that juice around that roast. So, with those uh, cut up potatoes around it and stuff like that, man. Ugh. I can't wait till it get done. Feel like it's already dinner time, but it's not. It's still morning. So, I'm just getting started early. You know what I'm saying? Getting a lot of stuff out the way. You know, and uh, especially clean up inside the house and stuff like that. So, uh, hoping I can get the girls out later on today and we can do some things out here. So, man. One more week to go. Christmas will be here and we will be celebrating Christmas here at the house uh, Open up presents for the girls and stuff like that and the wives. So um, We will be doing that hoping I can go ahead and videotape it all you know what I'm saying and Do the right thing for the for the girls and and the wife too So I got some plans where I want to get for the wife so I just gotta <clears throat> get to the store and go ahead and get it going and uh, get that present wrapped up you know and uh, be good to go with that. So, at least the two girls will be out the way and the wife will be out the way for their Christmas gift. So, I want to have Christmas this year with them because, uh, during this year, because I think I owed it to them. You know what I'm saying? So, go ahead and get out there and do the right thing. But anyway, I went inside my closet, pulled out the roller skates, man, and got the wheels all digest, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oiled down a little bit, you know? And, man, cleaned them up real good. You know, they, they still look like brand new. So, I've been using them, but I've been keeping them clean and tackled up, you know. And I even put them on while I was in the house, you know what I'm saying? So, to see what they really feel like, you know what I'm saying? So, they sort of meet them loose, and, you know, as long as you can move your wheels back and side to side like that, you know, you all good, you know what I'm saying? But, as long as they ain't tight feeling. And, you know, they little medium loose you know what i'm saying not that bad but a little medium and that's where i like the helm that way you know when i go around on curves i can hit them curves you know uh spin around backwards before you know it you know what i'm saying and, and it's all good but uh man yeah i got my tools just for the wheels you know what i'm saying to digest them you know and keep them going it's just like uh tighten up some brakes on your on your bicycle without flipping over the handlebars so i don't want none of that so uh since last time i've been on roller skate was last year sometime uh during uh the summer and i went with the girls so it's time for me to get back out there on them you know my legs is fine my back is fine you know it's just time to get out there and do some good things again so i would love to get those skates back on and yes you guys i am in a good christian spirit you know i got my red hat on, you know what I'm saying, with the white sweater, you know, 
got my blue jeans on it um, with the red stripes in it you know what I'm saying so man yes I am in the Christmas spirit so when I went to my job yesterday at the end of the day at the headquarters you know and the lady uh, that works in the office she was like hey Mr. Jerry I can see that you're in the Christmas spirit you know she was like keep it up you know and and if you feel like wearing your Christmas hat to work you can do so and like you're doing now you know just keep on wearing your cap and and had the Christmas spirits run up high man I love Christmas I love celebrate Christmas I like giving out gifts to the kids and the wife you know because I spoiled them when they came up as a little born baby you know but now they're teenagers and you got to keep going with it no matter what it is as long as I'm here they will continue getting spoiled spoiled from me and their mama so I'm um, trying to do the right thing between them you know trying to keep a smile on their face no matter what you know what I'm saying as long as they come home with straight A's on their port cards or whatever they get, B or C, whatever, it's fine with me, you know what I'm saying, as long as they learning something, you know, and they come home with good grades, they're going to get good gift from me, so always been that way towards my kids anyway, man, I love it, but anyway, one reason why I'm here, I'm doing a little shout out to my homeboys, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> uh, man, it's good to have good 32 games out there that's following Lawsuit Jerry around. You know what I'm saying? And just like I said, I will be getting my intro coming up real soon and stuff like that. I will be hooking up with my homeboy, Stunner Reese, you know, Lady X, uh, CJM32, Queen K, you know what I'm saying? And be getting hooked up with Pimpin' also. And, uh,. I think this the weekend is to hook up with them guys anyway, you know what I'm saying? Just get out there with them and, and get some good videos going on with them. So, I saw Queen Tay on live on Instagram this morning. You know, that was good. You know, I love everything that she does on Instagram. I love everything she does on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, that's 100% love from that. And, uh, man. First, uh, shout out games I'm going to give a shout out to. Left Two Guns. Laffy Two Guns, my homeboy, he always there, uh, leaving nice, good comments. Family Man Two, Two Four Seven, you know, uh, he's doing good things on YouTube also. I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe to his channel, you know what I'm saying? Cause Family Man is, is trying to get his channel up there, you know what I'm saying? Just go there, subscribe to his channel, you know what I'm saying? Like and share his videos, also too. Uh, man, King Tuck, also. Uh, one of my good subscribers that's always there. You know what I'm saying? And Sam, I am. You know, Holy Boy. Also, SS Finish. Joanne. You know, Double E. Also. Uh, also, CJ So Cool. CJ on 32. You know what I'm saying? J. Big Boo J. Also, man. And, uh, man, Rail to Rail. My homeboy, man, just he's out there in Dallas, Texas. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's all good. And Darren Boy, also. Uh, Manpower, also. Man, it's just good to do shout outs to my third two games when y'all out there for me. You know what I'm saying? Colossal Jerry's trying to get out there and do two. Do uh, good things also too, you know what I'm saying? I'm grinding, you know what I'm saying? I'm always on YouTube. I'm always doing a video for you guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 11K just right around the corner for Lawsuit Jerry Channel, you know what I'm saying? So the higher the numbers go, the better it is, you know what I'm saying? So I love my subscribers, man. Them, the 10K is, is one beautiful thing to have on YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? And I would like to uh, do a shout out to uh, my co-workers also that I work with. Also in the kitchen at the job that I'm at. You know, I'd like to do a shout out to them young ladies that's uh, down there. Um, man, it's about good eight or nine of them that I work with. And they've been treating Lawsuit Jerry 100% better down there. You know what I'm saying? They show me a number of love. My boss made me hot cocoa yesterday morning. You know what I'm saying? And Make sure I drunk my cocoa. Make sure I'm not getting sick. You know what I'm saying? Making sure I'm eating good and stuff like that. So I appreciate my boss 100% on that. You know, uh, 
most of the maintenance workers that's out there, you know, that I work with out there, you know, they help me out sometimes, help me load up my truck, you know, help me unload it and stuff like that. When I came home sick that day, uh, one of the maintenance guys took over the truck for me, you know what I'm saying, and took care of uh, my lunches and stuff like that and and make sure the ladies got out, got out the building on time, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate the uh, task force, I appreciate, appreciate the the lunch ladies also, you know what I'm saying, and my big homeboy, Jeff, man, I appreciate him, man, because Jeff is always there for me, you know what I'm saying, he always helped me out when I'm down there delivering lunches, you know, at the school, so he always helped me out 100% too, so I appreciate them guys, you know what I'm saying, and the ladies that work in the kitchen also too, so they do help me out a whole lot, you know, uh, man. Just like I said, it got to be fun to have someone to work with at a job like that that helps you out 100%, man. And my job helped me out 100%. And I'm always going to be there to help them out, whatever they got going on. You see what I'm saying? So if I got an hour or some break, I help them take out garbage. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to sit around and watch them. I'm going to help out too. So uh, just like uh, last Saturday, uh, they had a... Uh, Fix up breakfast for the kids and parents that came into school. I went down there and spun my little four hours down there and stuff like that without pay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm there to help out with the school district if they need me there. I don't care if they pay me or don't. You know what I'm saying? But I don't mind helping them out. You know, I have fun with the kids and stuff like that. You know, was playing around inside the gym and stuff like that. Getting free toys, free coats and stuff like that, you know. And then they come down in the kitchen, they got free breakfast and stuff like that. And that was one thing that I loved about it, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate the school district for that. Man, i like to say thanks to the school district for giving me the job, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, they didn't have to do it, but they gave me a job. And I'm there to stay, to do my job every single day. So trying not to miss a lot of days, but when I got sick, I ended up taking the time off, but I went back the next day, and I like to say, I thank my boss so much, man, I appreciate my boss, I never had a boss to call me up and say, how you doing, Jerry, are you doing okay, man, and she done that straight from my heart, you know, she gave me a call, made sure I was okay, and I told her, I'm doing a little bit better, and I was going to be in the next day, and I ended up going back in the next day, so I appreciate my boss on that, man, gotta love him. Alright, so, long story short, we gotta get up out of here. The car don't no, idle down good, don't no, warmed up nice and good and everything. I'm gonna go back inside and finish up my full course dinner for today and try to enjoy the rest of my day. You know what I'm saying? So, I just can't wait till Monday morning to go back to work. You know, that's how excited I am to go back to work on a Monday morning. I love getting up, going to that job every morning, 5 30 in the morning to 2 o'clock. I love it. So, uh, just wanted to say thanks to my 32 games out there, man. I gave you guys a little shout out. So I'm trying to come live and do you guys another shout out to my 32 games. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to know it. Lawsuit Jerry is the only one that does shout outs on the 32 games. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, hey, I know a lot of them does it. But, you know what I'm saying? But me, I does a little bit more shout outs to my 32 games when it comes down to my 32 games, you know what I'm saying, so, shout out to my homeboys out there, and the young ladies that's out there that's watching Lost with Jerry, alright, peace, Lost with Jerry, guys, get up out of here, 32 game, I'm out.